to another toner review. This one is a Burt's Bees one. So apparently they make four different toners. I currently own two of them. I want to pick up the other two, but I mean, it didn't make much sense to buy all four in one go. Especially when Target screwed up my order and sent me two of each of the two that I now have. So yeah, we'll wait till I work through some of those and then I'll pick up the other two. But um, this is the Sensitive Toner with Aloe Vera. There's also one with Rose Water and Witch Hazel. There's a Glow Toner and there's an Acne Fighting one. Given how my skin reacts to this one, I think I kind of need the Acne Fighting one. <laughs> so I don't know what it is about this. It's alcohol free. 98.8% natural origin with nutrient-rich botanicals, supposed to rebalance and calm your skin. And yet every time I use it, I break out. Explain, Burt's Bees, explain! I have no issue with aloe vera on my skin. I use it all the time, it doesn't usually do that to me, it's just this. But yeah, so specifically formulated for sensitive skin, our gentle formula is infused with calming aloe vera extract to soothe even the most sensitive skin. Unless you're me! <laughs> Our gentle alcohol-free formula uses witch hazel to sweep away excess oil and impurities, tone and nourish skin, and rebalance, rebalance pH levels for skin that looks as healthy as it feels. Apply with a cotton ball or pad after cleansing to tone, soothe, and nourish the skin. Follow up with your favorite Burt's Bees moisturizer. It can be used morning or night, whenever your skin needs a quick refresh. Uh, ingredients made from nature, Leaping Bunny certified, no animal testing, cruelty free, responsible sourcing, and the bottle is recyclable. No parabens, no phthalates, no petrolatum, or SLS. Now, this retails for $10, which isn't that bad, honestly. Like, initially, my knee-jerk reaction was, woo, kind of high, but then I thought about it, it's like, my beloved elf toner is eight. It's only $2 more, and it's 12 ounces. I mean, that's not bad. That's not bad. Stop being a bitch baby self. So, our ingredients are water glycerin, witch hazel water, propanediol, honey, rice extract, aloe leaf juice, citric acid, fructose glucose, inositol, sucrose, trehalose, benzoic acid, sodium PCA, sodium citrate, sodium benzoate, potassium sorbate, and phenoxyethanol. So, honestly, a fairly short list, considering what it is. Usually they're much longer on toners, so there is that. So, get myself a little cotton ball out with the pattern on it. Honestly, it's kind of matchy-matchy with the bottle, <laughs> just by chance. So, it does have some kind of a scent. It's not like they added fragrance, it's just whatever the natural scent is, I suppose. I'm, I'm guessing it's the aloe is what I smell in this, because when I sniff it, it smells like a baby wipe. But then you think about what is usually like the big ingredient in baby wipes that they all have? Aloe! <laughs> so I'm guessing that's what I'm smelling. So you go ahead, you rub it across your skin, you do your thing. I mean, it does feel good as you're doing it, not gonna lie, it does feel good. Uh, it's not too thick or anything, it's not like that reformulation of the L'Oreal Paris Hydrofresh toner that's like thick and sticky and kind of icky. Uh, this is at least toner consistency, so I can't even be mad at it for that. I just, I don't know why my skin freaks out with it. But I mean, it does lift impurities, like, straight up. I washed my face right before this video, but it still lifted that much impurities. And you can't blame it all on the shirt, because I've done just the face before, too. And it still brings up shit like that, so it's like, interesting. Very interesting, especially given that I've used toners where it doesn't seem like it does shit. So, I mean, I do appreciate that it's doing something. <laughs> but I also don't like that it breaks my skin out when it's supposed to be for sensitive skin. But that's why I'm like, well, I think maybe I should get the acne one. Just a thought. But, I mean, it does leave a nice glow to the skin. I I'm not gonna lie. I do like that about it. So I would say if you're cool with spending 10 bucks for 12 ounces of toner and you're willing to take a gamble and see how your skin does with it, by all means give it a shot because this is pretty widely available at this point. I picked it up from Target, but I've also seen it at my grocery store. The Burt's Bees website has it. Walmart has it. Walgreens has it. Like, it's all over the place. Uh, you can definitely find this if you want it. But, um... Just saying, I would say, given my experience, maybe proceed with caution, just knowing going in that that could happen. I don't think that my experience is typically, like, the normal experience with this stuff, so I can't really fault it too hard for that. 
But at the same time, I mean, it's supposed to be for everyone's most sensitive skin, and for me, it is just not. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. It, it is what it is. I'll still use it up. I mean, I've got two bottles of it. I may as well use it up. <laughs> yeah, it's just one of those things that maybe the more I use it, maybe my skin will get used to it. I don't know. I don't know, but... Yeah, that's been my experience. So I would say for me, it's just like a very average middle of the road kind of a toner. Nothing really to write home about. But at the same time, maybe you guys will have like a far more glowing experience with it. I don't know. But I'd say for 10 bucks, it's a good size. It's worth a shot. Because I've seen much smaller bottles go for 10 before. So I'm like, that's not bad. That's not bad. And especially for how natural the ingredients are. It's especially not bad. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Take them or leave them. <laughs> so anyways, that is it for this one, guys. So as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you'd like why do you here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.